The video you're about to see addresses the hieroglyph known as underlining and a mechanic that I use in my construct with which it helps the ease of the communication while going through the correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax grammar mechanics, the sequencing of the positionals specifically. Now that is something that you yourself would have to do if you choose to use the underlying function, which I'm about to share with you. In other words, you have to give closure to every hieroglyph that's in your contract, in your contract dictionary. So if you use an underline, you would give closure on what that means. If you use a period, a comma, a colon, a hyphen, anything that's in your contract, you would necessarily give closure to in your contract dictionary with you as the author authorizing the contract. So I just want to make that clear so that if someone you chooses to use this underline mechanic that I'm about to share, that you don't necessarily come and say, well, it's because Jason said so. No, you would necessarily have to have closure on that yourself to be able to say, this is the function that I'm using the underline for. This is the purpose it serves in my contract. And then you have your closure with knowledge as your authority. Enjoy. Let's take a look at some of the ways our correct sentence structure can be made more clear to the reader. In this first example, on this first line, you see colon Jason hyphen Matthew colon glass is colon correct name colon writ period. Now to write that out in correct sentence structure, it would look like this. For the Jason hyphen Matthew of the glass is with the correct hyphen name by the writ. That's what this says. For the Jason hyphen Matthew of the glass is with the correct hyphen name by the writ. When you underline compound facts, that brings an additional closure to the method of what we're doing by connecting two facts together to form a compound fact, meaning correct hyphen name should be taken together. Jason hyphen Matthew is taken together as a compound fact. Same thing here and there. As you see in this name, my name, my full name, I want that to be taken as one. I don't want it to look like for the Jason hyphen Matthew of the glass is. What if I want to put a, a, a concern after that? The way to do that is to take the name underline the whole thing because as we stated up here we underline things to show that they are to be taken as a whole. So this would be your cause. This entire thing would be your cause for the Jason I from Matthew of the glass. Now we can put a concern in there. So now we have for the Jason colon glass, Jason Matthew colon glass of the name. What is this? This is the cause. The Jason hyphen Matthew colon glass is the cause in its entirety. What's it concerned with? The name. It's a name. Now we put our verb in possessive, the correct writ. The correct writ is possessing the name. And the authority is by this performance, which I just did. As opposed to having your cause up here being Jason I from Matthew, and then you have of the glass is concerned with the glass. Well, yes, it is, because that's part of the name. And uh, the correct name here in this case is possessive of the glass with the authority by the writ, which is still correct. But if you want it to be taken as a whole, and you don't want it to um, interfere with the sequence of the positionals, the for, the, of, the, with, the, by, the, you would just underline the entire name. And now that is to be taken as one 
compound thing, not a compound fact, because compound facts are underlined, but it's to be taken as an entire entity in and of itself. In which case, if I was to syntax that, this colon represents for the, and then this Jason hyphen Matthew colon glass would be a seven, and then this five, six, seven, two, so on and so forth, with your syntax key over there. So I hope this helps you in your performance of uh, writing your name on a contract, your correct name, if you have a live life claim. You can make correct sentence structure contract. And this is one way to do it, to make it easier to convey what it is you want to say, to convey your volition and not interfere with the sequence of the positionals. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any grammar questions or if you want to contact me about a confidential workshop, you can email me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm just going to emphasize here at the end of the video that when you choose to use this underlying mechanic as I've shared it with you, you have to understand that you must give closure to the mechanic that you're using in your contract dictionary if you choose to use it in a contract. Meaning, when I take my name and put a colon in front of the J, and then start off Jason hyphen Matthew, which is a compound fact, and then have a colon space glass, and then I underline it from the J to the S at the end of glass, that is to be taken as a whole, and that is to be syntaxed as a seven, as a whole, as a fact, because my name is a fact, and I give closure to that in my dictionary, in my terms and conditions, as well as the function of the bottom line, otherwise known as the underline, the closures in the dictionary. And the same would be for anyone else creating a correct sentence structure claim. One must be able to give closure to that knowledge and be able to convey it to another individual. Thanks again for watching.